Hello and welcome to Dia's Fun Play. In today's video, let's try to understand our solar system in a very simple way. There are many planetary systems like our solar system in the universe with planets orbiting a star. Our planetary system is called the solar system because we use the word solar to describe things related to the sun which is our star. Our solar system is located in an outer spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. Our solar system consists of our star, the sun, the planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, dwarf planet Pluto, dozens of moons, and millions of asteroids, comets and meteors. All the planets and other celestial bodies are bound to the sun by its gravity. Beyond our own solar system, scientists have discovered thousands of other planetary systems orbiting other stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are known as terrestrial planets because they are solid and rocky. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It is a little bigger than the Earth's moon. It is the closest planet to the sun. Though it's closer to the sun, it's actually not the hottest. Venus is much hotter than Mercury. Mercury spins very slowly compared to our Earth. Mercury takes 59 Earth days to make one full rotation around its own axis. But a year on Mercury goes very fast as it is close to the sun. Mercury completes one revolution around the sun in just 88 Earth days. Venus is the second planet from the sun and Earth's closest planetary neighbor. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Its atmosphere is full of greenhouse gas carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. The greenhouse gases in the atmosphere traps heat making it feel like a furnace on the surface. It's so hot on Venus that the metal lead would melt. Venus is sometimes called Earth's twin because it's almost similar in size and structure. But the planets are very different in other ways. In addition to being extremely hot, Venus is unusual because it spins in the opposite direction of the Earth and most other planets. Venus rotates very slowly around its own axis, thereby making its day longer than its year. Our home planet Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only place we know of so far that's inhabited by living things. Earth is the fifth largest planet in our solar system. Earth is the only planet in our solar system with liquid water on the surface. Just slightly larger than nearby Venus, Earth is the biggest of the four planets closest to the Sun, all of which are made of rock and metal. All of the planets, except for Earth, were named after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. Mars is a dusty, cold, desert planet with a very thin atmosphere. Mars is also a dynamic planet with seasons, polar ice caps, canyons, extinct volcanoes and evidence shows that it was even more active in the past. Mars is one of the most explored planets in our solar system and it's the only planet where we have sent rovers to roam the landscape. Most of this ancient space rubble can be found orbiting the Sun between Mars and Jupiter within the main asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is the region in between the orbits of the Mars and Jupiter where most of the asteroids in our solar system are found. Asteroids range in size from 10 meters to more than 500 kilometers in diameter. Jupiter is the fifth in line from the Sun. Jupiter is a gas giant and the largest planet in the solar system. The stripes and swirls of Jupiter are actually cold, windy clouds of ammonia and water floating in an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter's great red spot is a giant storm bigger than the Earth and has been raging for hundreds of years. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and is known for its large spectacular ring system 
in of ice and rock. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system. Like the gas giant Jupiter, Saturn is a massive ball made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Uranus is made of water, methane and ammonia fluids above a small rocky center. The methane makes Uranus blue. Its atmosphere is made of hydrogen and helium like Jupiter and Saturn and also has methane. Uranus has faint rings that are not well pronounced like the Saturn. The inner rings are narrow and dark, the outer rings are brightly colored and easier to see. Like Venus, Uranus rotates in the opposite direction as most other planets. And unlike any other planet in our solar system, Uranus rotates on its side. Neptune is a dark, cold and a very windy planet. It's the last of the planets in our solar system. Neptune is very similar to Uranus. It's made of a thick liquid of water, ammonia and methane over an Earth-sized solid center. Its atmosphere is made of hydrogen, helium and methane. The methane gives Neptune the same blue color as Uranus. Neptune has six rings, but they are very hard to see. Beyond Neptune is the host of small icy worlds remain crowded in an enormous stretch of space on the Kuiper Belt. And the most famous resident there is Pluto. Once considered the ninth planet, Pluto is now officially classified as the dwarf planet. Thanks for watching BS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Light up subscribe right here, right now. Don't forget, press the bell icon. The choice is yours. BS1 Play.